All right, guys, Technology Brat back with you for part number two. So what we learned from the first one is before we even get our hands wet with the solution, let's just go ahead and get it to where we can get this screen shield away from the paper. I mean, guys, it just takes a few minutes to, to get it to separate. You just got to find kind of the right point. Now, on the back side one, you want to be careful with this one as well because this has all your side body stuff um, that we're going to look into as well after we get this part done. Um, so don't you don't want to bend it up or you know anything like that because you got to use those pieces as well So here we go. Now. I finally got a hold of it. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that and uh, Get my fingers all ready. And I'm just gonna spray the solutions kind of right on my fingers Off camera here just so I'm not getting it all over the place and uh, we're gonna go ahead and See, now I was getting ahead of myself, so what I should have done was go ahead and get the back all nice and wiped down first. Make sure that we're all shiny and good. Let me get this completely in the camera here. And uh, it still looks, you know, pristine. Same as the day we bought it here. And, uh, you know, what's been protecting it uh, most of the time has been that uh, music skin in the uh, McCallie clear case that uh, you guys might have seen as well. Okay, so let's go ahead. And douse our fingers with the solution again. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this straight off. And we're going to shoot this one up with the solution as well. Just gonna kind of lay it around here, and you, again, it doesn't have to be too perfect because it uh, it will. You can use a squeegee with the solution underneath it to really get it where you want it. And you can see it already. See how well it moves. It was moving around on me already. Let's just kind of get it positioned about where we want. Need to come up just a little bit more. There's no real easy way to do these guys. You just got to kind of figure it out as you go. That's why I'm doing this video so you can see just, you know, that you really can't, I mean, you're going to make mistakes along the way but you just got to kind of keep on plugging along with it and uh, you know you'll make it work you know you spend the, the amount of money to make sure your device is protected um, you know it will work out in the end once you get this you, I mean, you got all the solution underneath we're gonna go with our squeegee and you can kind of see that you can squeegee it around to where you need it to go and we need it to hit this edge better so we're going to squeegee that direction and try and hit this edge a little bit better try and pull more of the shield that way and uh, you want to be careful you don't want to get too much get it too bunched up we'll try and get it this mixed in with that bubble there there we go It looks like we may have to pick this up a little bit. Lay it down a little bit better. Again, if you need to, just go ahead and pick it back up, get some more solution on it, try it again. Don't be afraid to pull it back up. Don't be afraid to apply a lot of solution. That's what this thing was designed to do. The more solution you have, the easier it is to position. And just really kind of move it around with your fingers even. Pick it up. Just kind of slide it into as close to where you need it to go. And that's really how we should have done it the first time. And the same thing on the front, guys. So you can see, just kind of figure it out as you go. And what we just figured out there is just get it plenty wet and lay it down. And then you can really position it where you want. 
and then start squeegeeing while you hold it into place. And uh, that's going to give you a really nice install, guys. So there you go. That's why we do these videos, guys, so that uh, we can figure it out together. Um, you know, how it doesn't matter how many videos you watch on how to install these things. Everybody does it a little different. Uh, you know, everybody probably finds little different tricks or whatever. You know, I just like to share my experiences with you guys and show you exactly what I'm dealing with because I'm just like you guys. I'm not a professional. You know, I don't get paid to do these videos, anything like that. You know, this is just stuff that I'm doing with my products. And uh, I know you guys are as well. So if I can make it a little bit easier for you guys or if I can uh, make the mistakes on camera so you guys don't have to repeat them, so you can have an easier time, then you know I feel like at the end of the day that's uh, going to be a successful video. So and there you go, guys. It, t it took me front and back to figure it out, and but I think this is going to work out pretty well. You can see the back installation was actually quite a bit better and quite a bit smoother than my front one, and uh, it's it's all about the solution. I really didn't get enough solution on the front. But I think it's still going to turn out pretty well. Um, after I get this completely applied on the back here, guys, we'll go back and take a look at the front as well before we get into the sides. I got one more pretty big bubble up here. Especially around that Apple logo, guys. You guys are going to get bubbles because that logo is kind of indented there but don't worry about any bubbles or, or you know smudges stuff like that you don't really want to worry about them too much guys because it does take about 24 hours for this solution and screen shield to all kind of work together and really settle down and give you a nice really good clean look for your for your device so you know don't worry too much about bubbles you know I've got pretty much most all of them out of this one on the back side and uh, it, it looks really sharp already I, I love the feel of the invisible shield it's one of the big reasons why I decided to go ahead and do it on the iPad because I liked it so much in the iPhone 4 let's go ahead and flip it back to the front and you can see guys my front is not nearly as good in terms of bubbles um, and that's probably because I did not use enough solution but I mean I could still work on it a little bit but I'm not gonna worry about it too much because over the course of the next 24 hours guys that solution is going to work with the shield and it's all going to settle down and look really nice my iPhone 4 guys look this kind of the same way and of course I got a lot of smudges on it but you've seen the review guys you know how it is and uh, you know it ends up looking nice in the end so there you go that's the back side let me come right back and we're going to come back and do the uh, edges